find a three by three symmetric matrix with eigenvalues lambda sub one, lambda sub two, lambda sub three, and corresponding eigenvectors, vector v sub one, vector v sub two, and vector v sub three. So let's begin by recalling that we can use spectral decomposition to find a symmetric matrix A. And we can do this using the linear combination representation of matrix A. Now, the very first thing that we need to do is find the orthonormal vectors q sub 1, q sub 2, and q sub 3. Now, in order to find these vectors, we need to normalize the given eigenvectors. So our first vector, q sub 1, is defined by normalizing the eigenvector v sub 1. So the eigenvector v sub 1 has the components 2, 2, 0, and we are dividing by the length. So you have the square root of 2 squared, which gives us 4, plus 2 squared, which gives us 4, plus 0 squared is 0. So we have the vector with components 2, 2, 0, all divided by the square root of 8, which we can, of course, simplify to the scalar multiple 1 by 2 times the square root of 2, multiplied by the eigenvector with components 2, 2, 0, and distributing this scalar multiple through to each term, we are left with a vector with components 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2, 0. So now to find vector q sub 2, we need to normalize the eigenvector v sub 2. So the eigenvector v sub 2 is the vector with components 1, negative 1, 1, and again dividing by its length, we have the square root of 1 squared is 1, plus negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 squared is 1. So we're left with the scalar multiple, 1 by the square root of 3, multiplied by the vector with components, 1, negative 1, 1. And distributing that scalar multiple through to each component, we're left with the vector 1 by the square root of 3, minus 1 by the square root of 3, 1 by the square root of 3. And making sure that we have plenty of room, we need to now find vector q sub 3 by normalizing the third eigenvector. So we have that vector q sub 3 is defined again by normalizing eigenvector v sub 3, which is the vector with components negative 1, 1, 2, and dividing this vector by its length, we have the square root of negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 squared is 1, plus 2 squared is 4. So we have the scalar multiple 1 by the square root of 6, multiplied by the vector with components negative 1, 1, 2. And distributing this scalar multiple through, we are left with the vector with components 1 by the square root of 6, 1 by the square root of 6, 2 by the square root of 6. So now that we have normalized each eigenvector, we can officially claim that the set of vectors q sub 1, q sub 2, and q sub 3 form an orthonormal set. So these vectors are orthogonal to each other and are univectors. So now that we have this orthonormal set of vectors, we now need to compute the products of vector q sub i and the transpose of vector q sub i. So here we go. Our first product is vector q sub 1 multiplied by the transpose of vector q sub 1. So taking the vector q sub 1 that we found above, we're now going to multiply it by its transpose. So we have the components 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2, 0. And using the row column rule for matrix multiplication, we have the first row times the first column, which leaves us with 1 half. First row times the second column leaves us with 1 half. First row times the third column gives us 0. 
second row times the first column leaves us with one half. Second row times the second column leaves us with one half. And the second row times the third column leaves us with zero. Third row times the first column is zero. Third row times the second column is zero. And the third row times the third column is zero. We also need to compute the product of vector q sub 2 with the transpose of this vector. So again, taking the vector q sub 2 that we found above, we are going to multiply this by its transpose. So we have the components 1 by the square root of 3, negative 1 by the square root of 3, 1 by the square root of 3. And again, applying the row-column rule for matrix multiplication, we have the first row times the first column, which leaves us with 1 by 3. First row times the second column leaves us with negative 1 third. First row times the third column leaves us with positive 1 third. Second row times the first column leaves us with negative 1 third. Second row times the second column leaves us with positive 1 third. And the second row times the third column leaves us with negative one-third. And last but not least, third row times the first column is one-third. Third row times the second column is negative one-third. And the third row times the third column leaves us with positive one-third. And last, but certainly not least, we need to take the product of vector q sub 3 with the transpose of vector q sub 3. So taking vector q sub 3 that we found above, we are going to multiply this vector by its transpose. So we have the vector with components minus 1 by the square root of 6, 1 by the square root of 6, and 2 by the square root of 6. And again, using the row column rule for matrix multiplication, we have the first row times the first column, which leaves us with 1 sixth. First row times the second column leaves us with negative 1 sixth. And the first row times the third column leaves us with negative 2 sixth. Second row times the first column leaves us with negative 1 sixth. Second row times the second column leaves us with positive 1 sixth. And the second row by the third column leaves us with 2 sixth. And the third row by the first column leaves us with negative 2 sixth. Third row by the second column leaves us with positive 2 sixth. And the third row times the third column leaves us with 4 by this or 4 by 6. And we can actually go ahead and simplify this third matrix here. And we'll give ourselves a little more room. So simplifying this third product, we can rewrite this as the matrix 1 sixth, negative 1 sixth, minus 1 third, negative 1 sixth, positive 1 sixth, positive 1 third, and last but not least, negative 1 third, positive 1 third, 2 thirds. Beautiful. And so now that we have finalized computing these products, we are officially ready to find the 3x3 three three symmetric matrix A using spectral decomposition. So we can say that matrix A is equal to lambda sub 1 multiplied by the product of vector q sub 1 with the transpose of vector q sub 1 plus lambda sub 2 multiplied by the product of vector q sub 2 with the transpose of vector q sub 2 plus lambda sub 3 multiplied by the product of vector q sub 3 times the transpose of vector q sub 3. Now distributing these eigenvalues through each matrix and then combining up these matrices, we are left with the 3 by 3 matrix, 11 sixths, negative 5 sixths, negative 2 thirds, negative 5 sixths, 11 sixths, 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds, positive 2 thirds, 10 thirds. Making this our beautiful 
final answer.